what's good youtube what's good people what's going on how is everybody doing i guess you guys are having a wonderful trading week and i guess you guys are going through this week in a great way i took a break of and trade on monday and i took a loss yesterday both on gold but that's nothing we still keep our heads down and still put in the work and stay like that well this is your boy harlem i repeat and i'm back with another video today's video gonna be a breakdown <coughs> video i want to break down tesla and i want to break down apple but the reason being it's mainly because i want to share technical reasons into why it's not hard to trade apple and tesla or any stock out there but not mainly to say any stock out there but stocks that i have worked with ever since i joined trading us stocks so before we continue don't forget to smash the like button turn on the notification and share the video comment on the video and most of all most of all click on the link on my description to sign up with the broker that i use quick trade so when you look at the charts now guys so don't forget that everything i say you do it's opinion based this ain't no financial advice or anything like that right and this video it's not based on you having to put your money to work on those trading stocks after you've watched it nah it's based on how you can and why you can not why you have to do you guys get me so let's continue so we're going to be using the daily time frame only because the daily is just in the middle of hours and weeks and months the daily do you guys get me so you guys know that this is the highest point that tesla have once created and this is the lowest point but we're having this as our support right multiple reactions off of that zone and price reacted once after this major high so when you focus on our current market price right you can clearly see that from this year 2023 ever since 2023 has started tesla has been moving in a clean uptrend right price has been having higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows and now where price is trading it's where we have to focus on or where we have to put our eyes on because once price has created this higher high and coming back to create a high not higher than the previous high that clearly gives us a confirmation or a sign into saying price might be looking to be bearish or price might be looking for possible reversal but before we say that or before we talk about that we need to focus on what's happening or why do we say that right so when you zoom in the charts you can clearly see that okay <clears throat> this was the first high price created right like this was the first highest point price created and price broke out of it right so once price had this push phase and this distortion phase and this continuation push phase breaking this very same high this very same high you can clearly see that that confirmed into saying prices in a clean uptrend right so once we came to this highest point right there this highest point for 2023 not this all time this is not an all-time high this is a 2023 high right and then price did what pushed to the downside exhausted so this exhaustion phase basically came back to the very same high that we violated because from price breaking out of this high we couldn't come back for a retest price just accelerated to the upside but because the market always does what it has to do before it actually does what it's meant for it to do what i mean it's clearly saying <clears throat> price did what it had to do by just breaking above this high right and price did what it has to do by coming back to retest this high before it actually moved to the upside do you guys get me so this is the first high we created and this is the second high we created so when you now see something like this you can clearly tell that obviously an uptrend insists of higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows and possibly a higher high once price creates a higher low but if we don't break above that higher high this previous higher high that will clearly give you a sign into saying price might be looking forward a possible reversal but before 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 i even head down and be serious about that guys please focus on your zones 
once price creates a zone price will eventually come back to respect that zone or to violate that zone depending on what might be happening at that time so all i want to say about tesla right now is tesla is in an uptrend 2023 it's an all-time buy on tesla you guys can clearly see it i don't even need to break it that much but technically speaking guys you need to focus on what's currently happening or what might possibly happen in this instance price hasn't broke above the high that it created we haven't violated that high or we haven't broke above to create another high right so all i can say is now guys it's to focus on what will happen if price had this continuation push and this exhaustion and a possible continuation push and doesn't break above this high that we're looking at, then price might be possibly looking forward for a possible reversal to the downside. But me saying this, it's mainly based on using te technical analysis or price action, but I would I say. But let's just wait and see on what will happen once Tesla does what it has to do there's two things that can happen price might just move to the downside or price might violate the high and look for a possible new high but you need to focus on what might happen right is it gonna come back to this high or will price just move to the downside right so if it happens that price comes back to the downside let's wait and see on the higher low that price created are we gonna break it or are we gonna do it respect it and move to the upside for a possible reversal do you guys get me so that's what i want to share on tesla tesla is not hard to trade or tesla is not hard to analyze or hard to execute your trades from but there's reasons into why you have to execute what's currently happening because all of in my experience if a stock opens up a year in a uptrend it possibly means it might close it in an uptrend if it opens in a downtrend it might possibly close in a downtrend me saying that it's based on last year's move right so the other thing that i can give you guys before we head down to april it's to see why it's to see what's the trend that we're currently on because we know that we're in a clean uptrend right we on our clean uptrend right you can clearly see that and let's even do this side right so tesla it's an uptrend guys tesla is moving in an uptrend we're creating higher highs and we're creating higher lows right we're creating higher highs and we're creating higher lows right we're creating higher highs and we're creating higher lows so this might be my, my bullish uptrend you can clearly see that obviously price is reacting 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 let's possibly see what might happen but 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 i don't base my trades on trend lines but i'm just adding confluence so you guys can see so that's my take on tesla what might happen next we don't know is price gonna violate the high or will price fail to break above that high and give us a clean possible reversal we don't see that right looking at the last pair before we end the video that's april april you guys can also clearly see what we are looking at on april April is also an uptrend. So you guys know that, okay, April, this is our all-time high resistance. This is the lowest point that price has created. And currently, this is our support zone, right? So when you now look at what how Tesla opened up this year, you guys can clearly see that this was the lowest point that we created, right? Price clearly pushed to the upside right from the start of this year 4th of june 4th of july 4th of june is my birthday 4th of june 4th of january <laughs> price at this push phase right and an exhaustion phase and a continuation push phase breaking above our certain zone and an exhaustion phase which was a retest and a continuation push phase and an exhaustion phase and a continuation push phase and an exhaustion phase push phase exhaustion phase push phase exhaustion phase push phase exhaustion phase breaking above our major or all-time high resistance right and coming back for an exhaustion phase do you guys get me break out and retest continuation push phase and an exhaustion phase and then a continuation push phase until price did what dipped 
to the downside so when you clearly see that you can clearly you can also see that okay april was also as was also in a clean up trend the beginning of this year right so now when you see that okay this was a clean uptrend that april has created or that april is currently moving on what's next right because when you see this uptrend that april has created this clean uptrend we cannot have a violation of our brick wall or price couldn't continue moving higher and price started moving to the downside but let's look at it right this was our push, exhaustion, 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 our push until we had this breakout, right? And until price did what moved to the, to the downside, breaking below our all time high resistance. Do you guys get that? So when you see that we broke above, we broke our trend line and we broke below our all time high resistance, or rather, would I say our major resistance zone? price did what broke out again right and price broke back in on our current market price so when you now see that okay price has created a certain zone and price broke above and price broke below and price broke above and price broke below what's the market trying to tell you the market is simply trying to say to you that this very same resistance is a strong zone that price is failing to break above or oh, that price is failing to move below from but in this instance you need to focus on one thing or two things right the first thing it's mainly price pushing and moving to the upside pushing again and kind of moving to the upside when you see that you can clearly see that okay price has created a clean double bottom right price has created a clear double bottom right so you guys know how to trade clean double bottom if you don't can trade a clean double bottom check out the video that i dropped on how to trade trading patterns continuation or reversals i'm gonna leave a link so you guys can check it out or you can scroll down on my channel until you find it right so now when i see that okay price is one below my resistance and two possibly creating a double bottom what's that that i need to focus on on april there's two things that i need to focus on one are we gonna break out again off of this um resistance in terms of price creating a double bottom or will price feel breaking above our major resistance and break below our um double bottom and possibly look forward a continuation downtrend based on push phase exhaustion phase push phase exhaustion phase push phase do you guys get me but this is just an analysis or this is how i use my price action so april i repeat there's two things you need to focus on will price respect our resistance and move to the downside after creating an all-time high or will price break above based on the double bottom continuation pattern the double bottom reversal pattern that price has printed out we don't know but we need to wait for price to give us confirmations, right? The other thing that I can say or show you guys, it's something like this. Something like this. Something like this, right? We possibly, we possibly are starting off a downtrend or price is looking to open up or start a downtrend. But you guys know how a downtrend is, right? Lower low, lower high, lower low possibly, lower high, lower low. But in this instance, we had this possible double bottom. All we need to wait for is two things. Are we going to break out of this resistance or will price simply fall to break our resistance and violate a double bottom pattern and look for a retest to continue moving to the downside based on even our bear channel that price is creating do you guys get me these are just confluences that i use it these are just reasons that i base my entries on do you guys get me so this is what i'm looking for this is what i'll be looking for and this is why i want to share this video top two stocks that are easy to trade in 2023 or just in general right but before i end the video don't forget I, I repeat to smash the like button don't forget to share the video to comment on the video turning on the notification and to click the link on my description to sign up with the broker that i use quick trade 
or to hit my line concerning forex on entrepreneurship i'm up for a vibe i'm up for anything but all i just want to see is to see my people win and eat and be fed and healthy and wealthy without further ado it's your boy Harlem.